Hello friends and welcome back to another video tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. I am Shantae and the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom sisters and here I have my middle daughter Kehlani where I am doing these uh, curls and flat twists on her. It is summertime so curls are out. So we're going to talk details on the products I use and how I achieve these looks. And of course, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. We would love to have you come join the family. And to all of our returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So here I have Kehlani. She's just been freshly washed and I'm going in starting out with the Pretty Strands Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using this leave-in conditioner for several months now. It's very lightweight and I love how big the bottle is. I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to using a leave-in conditioner so I love that the bottle is big enough for me to use as much as I like without fear of running out after doing two styles. So I'm going in with an ear to ear part going across the crown of her head and then I'm going to start in the middle of her head because I'm not that great at doing straight parts and this makes sure that everything is straight and aligned with her forehead. Going in with my favorite gel of all time that I've also been using for the past several months, the Edge Effects Shine Effects Conditioning Gel. I love how soft and smooth and the shine that it gives Kehlani's hair as well as the hold and it smells so darn good so I'm going in applying this to the part so I can have nice clean and crisp parts and then I'm gonna go in with a flat twist so I don't know if y'all remember having flat twists back when I was in middle school this was the style to have if you were a middle school student you had to have some flat twists I remember worrying the hell out of my beautician my hairstylist back when I was a kid making sure she installed these flat twists every time I went to go get my ends clipped and my hair washed so it's a very simple concept all you're doing is just rolling the hair close to the scalp so if you are not great at braiding um, this is a great alternative um, it's kind of a it's pretty much where flat the two strand flat twist kind of derived from where you have this rolling of the hair and now a lot of people do the two strand flat twist which I am definitely a fan of because it's another simple and easy way if you're not great at braiding but this one is definitely a throwback to the Y2K era back when I was in middle school and I am glad that it's kind of coming back and revisiting because this was definitely one of my favorite hairstyles as a child so I just make sure I keep it close to the the scalp of her head try not to do it too tight I know that's always my biggest things when it comes to styling my girl's hair but I always listen for their cues whenever they tell me their hair is too tight or uncomfortable I do go back and redo it so once we've completed the front and I did them all straight back I'm going to start working on the back of her head because I want her curls to be out now back when I was getting this done this was when we had relaxers so she would flat twist the front of my head and then press the hell out of my hair in the back and I just knew I was the best thing walking you couldn't tell me nothing so I'm going in detangling and I'm using a fine tooth comb I prefer using the fine tooth comb method I tried it out experimenting on what tools would be best for detangling her hair and I've come to love it I really do so I'm going in with the Camille Rose curl maker gel I love this gel on my type 4 hair as well as my daughter's type 3 curls but I wanted to give it a try on Lonnie's type 2 wavy hair so it definitely clumps up her hair and that's always what I look for whenever I'm looking to allow her hair to be free and about is that clumping of her curls so we have this nice juicy curls when it dries um, the only thing is the gel was really heavy on her head so probably not the best thing to use but I'm gonna go ahead and make it work. I've been doing a lot more research on Kehlani's hair as far as allowing her hair curls to, you know, pop, get that definition as well as that volume. She definitely differs when it comes to my hair. So it is something new and I'm still learning. I've been doing Kehlani's hair on YouTube for three years and I've always been very honest in how much her hair is a challenge for me and how I do have a difficult time 
with getting her hair to do what I want. So, you know, it requires research and it requires me to sit down and kind of like find out what is best for her hair for me to make sure that she is getting the best out of her hairstyles. So with those individual flat twists that we did, I'm going in and doing a rope twist on the ends. Um, I wanted these to kind of be separated from the curls in the back and I'm going to pull them all together into a ponytail in the back to secure them. I do twist them to make sure they're nice and tight because I want the twist to be you know very noticeable against her curls I don't want it to blend in too much and I just secure it with a black rubber band so though I am still learning on the proper care of Kehlani's hair I still love to share you know our journey because there are other moms out there who have children whose hair is differs from their texture and it is definitely always going to be a learning learning journey and me teaching myself and teaching Lonnie how to care for her hair properly so I'm going in with some more of that Camille Rose to also kind of define that ponytail and as you can see that gel is just way too heavy it is weighing it down and you can barely see her curls but it actually turned out good after it dried um, I did have to go in and separate the curls a little bit just to add a bit more volume and I added some butterfly clips to the base of the flat twist as you know decoration because we love accessories over here and that is pretty much it for this style it lasted her three days um, whenever she wears her curls out I do not I try not to allow her have them out too long because her hair can definitely get matted and it can turn into a hot mess so this is the next style I had washed her hair probably two days ago and just put it in a simple braid just to give myself and her a break from sitting down and having to restyle it and this is what she was looking like so as you can see two to three days and Lonnie's hair is in need of some much needed TLC so I'm going in with these Design Essentials. We recently became Design Essentials affiliate program. So I'm excited to uh, try out more of their products. I'm going in using the almond and avocado line and I was very surprised on how well these products worked for Kehlani. I was a little skeptical because that Camille Rose definitely kind of put a little damper on it, but I was still willing to try new products and new methods to help work it out so I'm going in with a part like an inch above her ear and we're going to do that going across the back of her head and that top half is going to turn into a ponytail later but we're going to focus on the bottom half first So her hair was dry when we first started so I always add water. I want her hair to be damp. Not soaking wet to the point that it's dripping but just nice and damp so that we can get her curls to clump together. That's always going to be key whenever I'm looking for definition in her curls if I'm allow her to wear her curls out. I'm going in with my tangle teaser this time to detangle because her hair wasn't too bad on the knots and if I did come across a tough knot which was right here I would go in with my fine tooth comb and it just I feel like I have more control over what I'm doing and I can tease at those knots to get them to come out. I'm going in first with the Design Essentials leave-in conditioner and oh my gosh this stuff smells so freaking good. I'm then going to go in with the moisturizing lotion which I thought was more lotion texture but it has more of a jelly sticky like gooey texture. Plenty of slip okay you do not have to worry about slip at all when it comes to that product I thought it was gonna be kind of like sticky and had like this weird residue but no it dries very soft on her hair so I'm working that through and I decided to go in with my boar bristle brush this is the same method I use in the first style and what I'm essentially doing is just smoothing her curls and then I kind of twirl it around my finger to create this nice little spiral and this is one method that I like to use because it helps me get this nice like looping S curl with her hair, especially since I'm still trying to figure out what her curl pattern is. I know that sounds weird after doing her hair for so long, you would think I would know, but there's a lot of things that I just do not know on Kehlani's hair and that's why it's always a learning process. So I'm going in with, again, my favorite gel, the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel, and I'm adding that to her edges to smooth everything down 
down because we don't want any flyaways. I did take out a small little piece for a bang because she loves having these little two little twigs hanging in her face. I remember that was me too back in middle school. You couldn't tell me nothing. I had to have my little two twigs hanging out on the side of my head thinking it was so freaking cute. Going to start defining her ponytail now and I separated it into three sections so I can you know focus on one section at a time. I make sure her hair is nice and dead. I'm spritzing it with water and I'm going again with those two design essential products first with the leave-in conditioner and then finally with the lotion which is more of a gel to me and I'm working that through and pretty much applying that same method that we did to the bottom half of her hair So this is what her hair looks like after I have finished clumping everything and doing my little finger shingles. And we're gonna wait for this to dry before I go in and separate it. Now, the next day, I totally forgot to separate it that night and finish my video. So this is what she's looking like. It's very much frizzy looking. So I'm going in with the Texture ID Curls Refresher Spray. I love this spray on the girls. I don't particularly care for it on my hair. So if you have type 4 hair, I do not recommend this product for your curls. So what I do is just work this product through. And what is it, it's essentially doing is pretty much adding moisture back into her hair with oil kind of like like helping bring in that sheen as well and then I'm also going to go in with the black seed baby grow and glow growth oil love this oil it has this nice herbal smell it adds a nice beautiful sheen to the girl's hair and it definitely helps with their moisture I do not usually have to go back and re oil their scalp or re-moisturize their scalp for a couple of days using this oil so it is definitely a heavy hitter and one of my favorite growth oils so far so I'm going in and separating her curls because I want her to have a little bit more volume and as you can see them curls look amazing I really love how the design essentials really helped with her curls definition but also keeping her volume because a lot of times with Kehlani's type of hair if I do get the definition I lose out on the volume and if I achieve that volume her definition is out the window okay which that's usually the case for most of our most of us curly girls so now we are on the last style. Again, I'm going in with a part going across the crown of the head from ear to ear, and I'm gonna go in with a deep side part this time instead of starting in the middle. And what I want to do here is do triangle parts um, to do some flat twists on her hair. Pretty much another rendition of the flat twists we did in the front, but we are gonna change it up just a little bit. So going in with that triangle part and I make sure I wet her hair because it's best to style Kehlani's hair when it is wet. And I'm cleaning up her parts and we're gonna go in with, of course, the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel to lay down her edges so that we can do the flat twists. We want nice and clean parts when we do these flat twists so again I'm flat twisting it close to her scalp very simple and easy all you're doing is pinching and rolling the hair as you're picking up more hair now instead of rubber banding it off at the ends I wanted to add a little like a bantu knot so I'm just rolling the bantu knot around into this nice little small bun now of course when I was doing them my bantu knots was a whole lot smaller because I didn't have as much hair as Kehlani does so her bantu knot turned out a little bit bigger than I want it to but I just went ahead and rolled with it I won't go and dwell on it so I'm gonna do this for the rest of her flat twist and I believe I did a total of five triangle parts going across her head and bantu and not bantu not every one of them at the base of the flat twist try not to do these too tight it can be very easy it can be very easy to make bantu knots a little too tight because you want them to hold up and a lot of times it can cause a lot of tension at the roots and when I did this second one I did do it a little too tight and Kehlani definitely was just like mm -mm, mommy this ain't right and as you can see she a little uncomfortable and I asked her I always ask her is this uncomfortable if it is I definitely take it out and redo it 
experiencing a lot of tension on a style can definitely cause a breakage and scalp soreness and all kind of issues that we do not want to have. So I definitely try to keep an open mind when it comes to styling her hair, especially with styles that I know can cause a lot of tension. And for me, Bantu knots, I always, I don't know why, do them a little too tight. And so I always ask my daughters, is this uncomfortable? And if it is, we will redo it. So these Bantu knots are essentially making this kind of like crown going across her head. It looks very regal to me. And that's why I wanted to try it out on Kehlani. I love doing Bantu knots on her. I think they look great. I don't particularly care for them on myself, but I do love doing them on Kehlani's curls. And I do tie some of them down with rubber bands, especially the bigger ones. The smaller ones, usually I don't have any problem with those unraveling. Now it's time to start on the back of her head. I added some water. So so we can get her hair nice and damp and I'm going in with my tangle teaser once again to work out any knots and anything that is just like not the tangle teaser is just not helping it out I go in with my comb again I just feel like I have a lot more control when I use the comb over the tangle teaser I just feel like the tangle teaser just like plows through it and rips her hair rather than the comb I can kind of like tease at it and focus on that one particular knot to get it out of her hair so once her hair has been fully entangled and I have missed it down to make it nice and damp again you do not want it soaking wet just damp I'm going in again with those design essentials products and I wanted to try these products out again but using a different method and applying them so I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner first and then I'm following up with the lotion just like I did in the previous style but instead of pulling out the boar bristle brush to smooth the product through I kind of just wanted to scrunch the hair together to just see what her hair would look like like without me forcing those spiral curls in there so as you can see she does have this nice like body wave of hair um, the although her hair isn't as clumped as it usually would be if I did do the spiral so I was a little fearful that we were going to see more volume than definition going in again with that black seat baby's oil and I'm massaging it and also um, kind of breaking that cast on the gel from the uh, design essentials lotion using in that oil and scrunching it into the ends of her hair and this is what she is looking like it's still a little bit damp but as you can see she definitely has the volume there but the definition was not as I wanted it and again this is a learning process for me I'm still experimenting to find out new ways and new favorite products for Kehlani so she can wear and adore her curls just as much as her older sister thank you guys for joining us on a, another video don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below any other styles you would love to see here on our channel or some product recommendations we're always looking to try new products we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe